Right, okay. John, Katie, Katie, Sean. Oh, no, wait. You do the intro. Oh. This is Bridget. Katie, Sean, Sean, Katie. Sean, what happened in the last episode of Bridget? Mariage. Mariage? They all got married. I Tied think, um, the knot. Daphne and um, Hastings got married. Yeah. And, you know, there was some confusion about whether or not they had real feelings for each other, what they wanted, what they didn't want. Mm-hmm. Um, Marina Thompson tried to sort of trick uh, Colin? Colin and uh, Mariana. He did, didn't he? Because he, he proposed, proposed, didn't he? Proposed, yeah. Which is oh, awful. Um, Benedict went to an orgy. Slept but with... He, but he's an artist, so that's, that's okay. It's acceptable for artists. Um, mm-hmm. Slept with his host's wife. Yes. Without realising it. And the modiste. And the, her. I don't know. Uh, yeah, whatever. The, rest, the woman that makes dresses. Oh, yeah. Is that what that's called? I didn't, I didn't know. Um, I think. That'd be really embarrassing if it's not one. <laughs> um, what else happened? Then at the end of the episode, they had their sort of wedding night and it was all gross. Yeah. Because they took 300 yeah. layers off that they had. But what, um, you know, <laughs> yeah. I did say the director deliberately made yeah. it yeah. awkward and weird. Yeah, and a so... Bit, a bit uncom- it's supposed to be a bit uncomfortable. But you know? the most important part is they finally... Yeah told each other what, yeah. how they felt because they both thought they were they had trapped each other in this marriage yeah. the duke blamed himself for you know taking her virtue taking her innocence mm-hmm. and that she was forcing marrying him she thought she was forcing him because um Presida Pre- Presida Calpa is that a name I have no idea the I two th- words that you just said I think that I think that might be a name if I is that the that conspiring right. shrew that's that's the blonde kind of horrible lass ah, that was after the, that was after no, I've got nicknames prince. for them all. <laughs> that was after <laughs> the prince, yeah. She saw them in yeah, the garden. Yeah. 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 So they both thought they'd trapped each other in there. Yeah. In the um, also, I feel like I should address some of the comments that people had on the last episode. Thank you very much to everyone who comments on, on these videos because I do I do really enjoy seeing them. Um, because this isn't normally my kind of thing. I don't watch it, but I've made a, I've made a really yes. conscious effort to get into it and enjoy it. And I am enjoying it, but I have a, I've had a few warnings about this episode. Yes. I'm very modest, okay? What? Um, yeah. It's the honeymoon, we know, let's just yeah. watch the bloody thing. Um, yeah. Let's watch. <laughs> yeah. Let's watch. I mean, imagine living there. I am, of Who course. There? I would get lost every single day. I have no sense of direction. <laughs> you would just be walking around in circles <laughs> on the square, wouldn't you? Going, where am I? It's this uh, slough. slough. Made the same joke in the last episode. Where did one honeymoon in the 19th century? This isn't a honeymoon destination, this is his house. Oh, this is his house? Yes. <laughs> They're buzzing, but it didn't look like the Bridgertons were buzzing. Look, Anthony's not impressed, neither is she. You know what's going through her head right now, Miss, like, uh, Lady Bridgerton? What's going through her head is shrew! Oh, that was breast! <laughs> I thought this was PG. <laughs> this is the same PG to you. <laughs> oh, they're cute. Is she going out without tying her hair back? I thought she wanted to make an impression. <laughs> <sighs> Sean. I... What is she insinuating? You forget your place, madam. That's what she should be saying. She has very strong collarbones. Good for her. I don't think I've seen them before. I don't often see people's collarbones. She seems to have quite good ones. Good for her. Is she going to be like not liked by the household manor? The household. You think about the old duke and the current duke. Some striking differences, isn't that? He wasn't very nice, though. Where are we going? Oh, what a waste of food that was. <sighs> they, were probably they, had, they had like five chickens on there as well. I know, there were probably farmers dying for food like that when they have to eat their roast pheasants. And they're just wasting whole chickens and ducks and turkeys. Ah, yes, laugh, but a cold was probably deadly at that time. <laughs> 
<laughs> I mean, it would be. Oh, gratuitous shirtless scene. It's got to be one, isn't there? Oh, oh my. <laughs> You're not covering my what? eyes. <laughs> what if one of their ground keepers sees them? Didn't they just have to schedule this kind of stuff in? Schedule? Yeah. You know the news? Playing a Taylor Swift song in the background. Is that what that is? Really? <laughs> really? It's playing a Taylor Swift song. It's um. So people are saying they don't like. Wildest dreams, but it's like a violin in it. So people are saying that they they want this to be realistic and not insinuated. Yet they're gonna have a Taylor Swift song. They've had a quite a few modern songs playing throughout the whole show. Have they? Yeah. So that's how in touch with music nowadays I am. Yeah, what if there's like a groundskeeper taking a horse for a while? Oh, there's more breast! God! <laughs> now, you know what the, now you know what people are wanting. <laughs> I thought this was a family friendly show. There's just breast everywhere? <laughs> Is this what people were. Oh, now there's bum. <laughs> Is this what people were warning me about? Is this what it was? There's just severe nudity everywhere. Now she's fully clothed. He's underneath her dress, isn't he? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> where are they? Are they? Where are they? Where's all the servants? <laughs> that looks like the living room. <laughs> They're in a study. <laughs> Yep, all the household staff are going to think of themselves above their stations. Preclude him from causing such difficult entanglements. <laughs> <laughs> a quirky maid. Why don't we have a quirky maid? Very well, everyone else, I think. I think I'll dress like that the next time I I venture to York. <laughs> yeah, true. Do you know what episode we find out who Whistledown is? Yes. I'm not going to tell you. I'm sure. Marina, time for the movies. We must see to your trousseau. Oh, you were right. Well done. French, I imagine. Was there any doubt? Yes, you doubted yourself. <laughs> huh? Why is she called the modiste? Because she makes dresses. And I assume that's what more decent means. Something to do with dresses, I think. <laughs> I don't know. I or a seamstress or something. I think modiste is not the French for modest. Slaughter, of course. What? Slaughter. Oh, that's a weird accent. He's probably Welsh. Well, then, how are they supposed to get their beef? I'm not where beef doesn't come from pig, does it? Does beef come from a pig? No. Beef comes from a cow, pork comes <laughs> from a, a pig. Pork, that's the one. I should have said bacon, shouldn't I? Come on, sure. Or sausage. Oh. Good on her. Is she going to be a duchess of the people? Oh, it knows we haven't had many of them. <sighs> oh, no. Say I would have been like, ugh. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, bless her. And bless him. He looks quite dashing in burgundy, doesn't he? Good for him. Is that burgundy? Looks burgundy. Burgundy's just red, isn't it? I think so. Oh, they're both very cute. Hi, down you. God, not in a farm, it's failed. Come on, it's one thing being on your own lands, but... Hey, Owen's all the land. Yeah, I know, but he rents them out. What the hell does swish mean? Isn't that the noise that a... That's what a basketball net does, isn't it? <laughs> I like high-class small talk. 
talking about embroidery and piano lessons mm. and whatnot. Imagine if me and Nicole talk about embroidery. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gotcha, see. I'll just take these off for now. What? I'll just take these off for now. <laughs> I hear cringy music singing. Oh! <laughs> no. It's not just her singing, it's her piano playing. To be honest, whenever you and Nicole talk, anyway, half the time I drown out most of it, as it is. <laughs> oh no! Is she gonna reveal to him? I believe you deserve to know. Is there something on my face? Has it been there all evening? It has, hasn't it? Stop it, you charming Sorry. fellow, you! Go on. Trust me, Pen. Do not fret. <sighs> I know my mind. And the she's gonna have to tell him we she's pregnant. Understand each other. I do feel sorry for him though. I feel sorry for her as well. But she's not just think, think about it from it's a romantic brother, standpoint. If it was odious at dinner, I apologise. Then we could be alone together always. <sighs> Ugh, I don't like her! What if I told you there was a way? Oh, oh don't do it. Gretna Green. Oh, no! I should arrange everything. He's He's being manipulated. You're being manipulated, you sappy fool. It's a oh. difficult situation because I understand. I can understand why Marina feels like she needs. It's a different time, different circumstances. And she's a woman. Yeah. But she is trapping Colin. Very much so. Yeah. And poor Penelope is kind of caught in the crossfire. When I first, when she was first sort of saying that she wanted to like tell him I thought it was like from a romantic standpoint but it seems more like just a friend she seems almost like just she cares about him she cares about his feelings oh she's closing the door on a child life <laughs> <laughs> is he even listening he's not even listening she, oh, she didn't even care to when she left the room this is Coulson you might be head of staff but staff you are still. You are not a duchess. That's what I would be saying. Ah, oh, it's these Welshmen as well. There is bread and honey. Is it because they're not used to having a nice duke and duchess? Well, the previous duchess was nice, remember? So, but the duke was. But he still kept things in order, though, didn't he? Done something to offend the village. Oh. At least this lady knows her place. Why well, she's a kind woman. Hmm. You can tell because she has quite a few children. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Did you make a satirical joke? <laughs> Simon? The late Duke must have loved oh. his wife very much to have struggled so after her no. death. No, he did not. not. Happy marriage, then. No. Oh, is she gonna show Colin the letters? Do you think? Do you think she would stoop so low? Where are they? She's in her house. Oh, is that her house? Yeah. What were the Bridgertons doing dining at her house? Uh, they tell me she didn't check the giant chest first. Oh my god, come on Penelope, you're supposed to be smart. Even if they hurt your feelings. Oh, I do not like her now. I get what she's saying, but I phew, don't like her. I like Penelope. Penelope is one of my favourite characters. Well, I hope it was worth it. She's just a kind person, Penelope, isn't she? Yeah. Not even in the study? Come on! Oh no. She's conspiring sexually, isn't she? Is it that he can't have children or is it that he won't have children? What do you think? I feel like it's he won't have children. Oh, look. That's a very thin umbrella. It's made of cloth. So you think he's choosing not to have children? Yeah, yeah. That's why she went and asked. Why? Right. It's quite a dashing evening gown, isn't it? On him, not her. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. 
So is she going to end up pre Is that the thing that's going to happen? Is she going to end up pregnant? That'll cause some friction because he doesn't want children. And as much as she says, she does want children, doesn't she? Oh, breast. And, oh, God. People were right. This is very <laughs> racy. Oh, Penelope, don't cry. Go to her, dang it. Oh, I like Penelope. I really don't like Marina Thompson now. I like Penelope. See, she's exposed and she's still trying to be a good friend. Still trying to be nice, but she wants to protect Colin. But I'm... Oh, has it come out about Marina? So how the heck did Whistledown find out? As if the Featheringtons did not have enough to be dealing with, Miss Marina Thompson is with child. Oh no, Colin. He's going to be devastated. And she... That was a very depressing episode. <laughs> <laughs> See, the sweet turn to sour. Oh, don't start spouting poetry now. <laughs> God. <laughs> God. Oh dear me. Yeah, not as much as the commenters were warning me about that episode. I wasn't ready for the amount of breast that it was going to show. <laughs> I don't. I'm trying to think. I don't think there's one as bad as that. That was definitely like the worst one. I don't. I don't think there's one that's worse than that. Oh, it's a shame, isn't it? So that's weird, right? The Whistledown knew that. Right. So there's either one or two scenarios. Either she found out at the same time as everyone else did, mm. or like a few days before she found out recently, right. ousted it, and then everyone else has found out. Or she knew from the very beginning and ousted it now in order to just prevent the marriage. Right. So it's Penelope whistled down. You think Penelope's whistled down? I don't know. It depends which scenario you go off because I, if it's the yeah. first one in that she's only just found out and ousted it, that means there's only a finite group of people who would have known that she was pregnant. So think, so think of who, because that the whole point of this is like to narrow down. Yeah. So who knew for definite that Marina Thompson so was the, pregnant? So the two Featheringtons knew, well three Featheringtons knew, Penelope knew, yeah. Ben the Miller knew. The sisters knew. Did they know? Yeah, all the, all the Featheringtons. So all the Featheringtons knew. knew. Right, who else knew? George knew. Right, George did know. Doubt him because he's not an established character. Mm -hmm. um, her Featherington's servant lady. Right. Uh, she knew. Main servant. Did anyone else know? Did anyone else know? Well, it doesn't make any sense for it to be a Featherington. Why would the ouster now? So is it that it could be a feathering in or is it that potentially they found out a different way? How would they find out a different way? How does stuff get around? Gossip. Yeah, but gossip wouldn't necessarily turn into something that everyone just believes. You don't know that. Lady Whistledown is really good at getting gossip. But they were in the feathering in's house. Who was? All the Bridgetons. Right. So if one of them stumbled into her office and found the letter, mm. or any of the letters, then they may, might have found out. So we've, not, only, we've only narrowed down pretty much all of the secondary characters. All the secondary characters. The main characters yeah. all of, every single one of the main characters is still a suspect. I've only got two episodes to go. Including Daphne and Simon? I'm not doing very well, am I? Mm. Did you know who it was at this point? No. Normally I'm, with shows, when I've got to figure someone out, like crime shows, I like to brag that I figure it out straight, like yeah. really quick. I, I have no idea who it is. I kind of I was cr I was crossed between two characters at this point. And was one of them so down? Yes. Right. But it was one of those things where you, where you'll rewatch it later on, you'll go, how did I not see it? It's not Eloise. Can you tell me that it's not Eloise? I'm not going to tell you anything. It's fun, isn't it? No. Being in this seat. No, it's stressful not knowing. I like to figure oh. stuff out. Um. Yeah, that's 
I, said, I really dislike Marina. She made Penelope cry. Oh, I like yeah. Penelope. Penelope's been one of my favourite characters from the very beginning. She's a really sweet character. Yes, yeah, she's she? nice. Yeah. She doesn't conform to all the sort of societal norms that women do. She's smart. She thinks for herself. She's Trent, a good woman. Yeah, Trent she's a good lady. Trent Colin and, you know. Oh, poor Colin as well. He'd be heartbroken. No orgies this time, surprisingly. No. Weird. Made up for it, though, in all the honeymoon and breasts that it showed. <laughs> and nudity. Um... Yeah, I don't think I don't think there's the next episode. I think there's only, what, there's only two episodes left. Mm -hmm. I don't think either of those episodes are as bad as this one. Mm. I think that's as bad as it gets. So. So the commenters don't need to warn me anymore. I'll say that, and there'll probably be a scene <laughs> that I'm forgetting that comes. <laughs> that's probably worse, but yeah. I'm pretty sure it doesn't get as bad as that. So that was us reacting to episode six. It is episode six, that. I think the joke and I was fifth. Um. That was just reaction to that. Comment some stuff down in the. Just tell us some stuff. I always love what, reading the comments on these videos because people. Yeah. Sometimes there was one where they said, in one of the last videos they said something like, in, a film whenever there's like an action film, would you would I have liked, you know, an, a big action battle to be insinuated? It's like well, that does sometimes happen in things. You know, big action battles are insinuated. Some I know they're not a lot, but. I think the best thing about this is the high-end sort of political sort of stuff. That's what I'm enjoying. Yeah. I didn't... I think my, my, the whole reason I didn't like that last episode was because it was about 10, 15 minutes long, that scene. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. At the end. It's like, it's just t too long. I don't mind there being in you know, order to it's a sex scene and all that stuff. I don't mind... I don't care about that. It was just the length. It was just too long for me. Like, yeah. I'm sitting there going... Again, though, that was intentional. It was supposed to be awkward. But even this one, like... Although there was a lot of sort of sex between the two of them, it was cut up. Yeah, you I had mean, breathers in between. Yeah, and it was like, okay, I don't really care at that point. You know, I'm making yeah. my jokes, I don't care. Um, you got to see, hear a lot more about Simon, didn't you? Yeah. That was life. See, I always, when I when he first said he couldn't have kids, I assumed he meant he, he didn't want to have kids, but right. you made me think that he physically couldn't have kids. Well, that's the thing, isn't it? Because that, that was intentional. A part of you thought, well, okay, because he told his dad his line would end, end with him, which made it seem he wouldn't well, have that's, kids. That's what I thought he meant. But then he kept on saying he couldn't have kids, and it's supposed to kind of... So he was just lying to her? Yeah, he was also using her, like, innocence, I guess. Her oh, naivety a against her. But not a, really. He wanted a bit, scoundrel. No, not really, because he... Like you said, I mean, he knew he, she wanted to have kids, but he knew he didn't want to have them. So would you not prefer to kind of not say and protect that person. I don't know. I don't have to think about these things. Well, you know. Cause I'm he, a, he did. I am a male. Um, yeah, so tell us some stuff down in the comments. Don't spoil it, though. Don't spoil don't anything Don't tell him who Lady Whistle Down is. <laughs> it's only... It's only it's, it's like, come on. We've got this, we've got the last two episodes of this season, then we've got whole of the season. Don't yeah. spoil it. I'm going to try and blast through uh, all our shows. Um... Yeah, like the video, subscribe. Oh no, you gotta do the outro. You do the outros and the intros, Bridget. You can do this outro. No, no, you do it. I don't like doing the outro. You do it. I feel see awkward. if uh, see if you can remember what I normally say. Like the video, subscribe, hit the bell to be notified when we upload. We upload it. Do we upload every day? Yeah. We upload every day. Anything else you wanna say? There was a lot of servants talking back in this one, wasn't there? Mm. A lot of servants forgetting their place. They shall have to be flagellated. Well, these are the servants that raised Simon. Come on. <laughs> oh, I just uh, this entire episode, I wanted to use the word flagellate, but I, I couldn't figure out how to get it in there. Uh, okay. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Just hearing you try and say stuff in like a pe <laughs> like period insult. I turn weird in this video. <laughs> <laughs> I need to know.